Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, I'm Jen Boulay. I'm the Civic Engagement Coordinator here at BCC. Um, the interesting thing is I actually started out as a student like you folks a few years back. Um, and I did become heavily involved in civic engagement through the service learning program. So I hope many of you folks are getting around to a lot of our community partners and getting to find out about their organizations and the opportunities that are available. So without getting too detailed about that stuff, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to our first speaker, which is President Jack Spraga. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Bristol Community College. Uh, we're delighted to host this great event. Uh, there are a number of opportunities for civic engagement and service learning uh, for our students, but also I want to recommend and commend the work of our community volunteers who are here and uh, uh, taking care of the tables. Uh, they're so committed to what they do uh, that we want to say how grateful we are for them. We couldn't have a lot of the activities that we have for our students without their dedication and professionalism. And you know, today is very special as uh, on 9-11. Uh, we want to uh, commemorate uh, the memory of uh, that terrible day in New York and uh, Washington and Pennsylvania uh, where tragic lives were lost. And uh, uh, it's something that we should never forget. Uh, and reinforces our commitment to uh, the country, uh, to democracy and democratic principles and global cooperation and collaboration. Uh, these are things that uh, I think would go a long way toward uh, uh, moving, uh, having a much quieter world, if you will. Uh, social justice and inequity, uh, social injustice and inequity are keys that uh, uh, cause uh, uh, the, much of, if not all, of the disturbances that we so regretfully see around the globe. Uh, and it came to us, uh, it came right to our shores uh, in 2001 on 9-11. And we've been uh, trying to be ever vigilant ever since. But the connection between 9-11 and the terrible tragedy and also today's activities, I think, is uh, crucial to make. And that is that uh, we, have, we are community, we work together, uh, we collaborate, there are scarce resources everywhere, so that by coming together, the whole uh, becomes greater than the sum of its parts. And uh, this is a good example of it right here, as we, uh, as we emphasize community, as we emphasize collaboration and spirit, civility, and civic engagement. It's very important that uh, we have as a goal at Bristol Community College, not just producing good citizens, but producing citizens who are, uh, make ethical choices and are civically engaged. And because it's, mo it's not enough to just live in the community, you have to do something about the, your community. And whether it's at the city level, a local, or a uh, statewide level, a regional, or a federal level, uh, we all have a part to play. Uh, so again, I want, to I want to congratulate all of the people at the tables here, the various community organizations that they represent, the way they reach out, the way they make themselves available to us, uh, us at the BCC uh, family, uh, civil, uh, civic engagement opportunities for our students, all part of uh, holistic learning for our students is all part of the education, uh, and, and in fact, uh, helps us to produce students who are uh, committed to civic engagement and uh, ethical behavior and civility. So I'm very, uh, very pleased about that. It's a sad occasion uh, as we commemorate 9-11-2001, uh, but it is also a bittersweet in the sense that we can take some solace in the fact that uh, our communities are coming together as evidenced by uh, the great crowds and the wonderful people who have uh, come here today to make that commemoration. So I thank you all. Uh, I'd like to introduce now um, our Chief Academic Officer, uh, Greg Sataris. Chief Academic Officer. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I'll be very brief. Uh, it's great to um, see everybody here, all of the students. Specifically, I want to thank all of the community partners uh, and activists around. Um, a message to students. Uh, your education here at BCC uh, is very, very important, but taking it home with you, taking it into your community, be it here in Fall River, New Bedford, or what have you, is absolutely critical. The best thing that I can urge for all of the students here is to walk carefully around, talk to the people, uh, talk to our partners at the table, our community partners, and, and find an activity or two that you think that you can get involved in, that you can bring home with you, that can, you can make part of your life and make part of your BCC experience. Because that these types of relationships are things that are going to go much beyond just your BCC career. They should be lifelong activities of civic engagement. So please visit uh, with all the wonderful people here. Talk to them. Share some of your enthusiasm. Listen to them. And uh, please make it a part of your BCC experience. Thank you all for being here. I now get the uh, pleasure to introduce Michael Vieira, who is the Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Thanks. It's always great to be the third speaker in uh, an event like this, where uh, I could talk about September 12th or uh, October. No, I, I also want to echo the, uh, the messages of, of the President. Um, I'd like to do a couple of things. I'd like to take just like one moment of silence for the, the victims of 9-11. I'd like to us all just reflect in our own way um, about that day. Thank you. Uh, when I think back, you know, time, time is a great healer, I think, and, and you look back over the, uh, the decade, and I think a lot of people think about the wonderful things that happened, how it brought the community together, how since then we've really focused on civic engagement and we've really looked at how we can make a difference. Um, but I think back to the very first day I was here on campus, I was here with some students, and that day in the aftermath, there was an awful lot of fear and loathing and terror and um, there are actually a lot of people, I had students in my classes who were stopped on 195 just because they looked like they might have been somebody who could have been a terrorist. And there were people who were, who were late for class, who were, who were um, harassed at their jobs. There were a lot of things that were really pretty negative around that time. And I think the, the real um, sense of what we've learned from there over the years, I hope, is that we need to be open, we need to make a difference, we need to understand and do that outreach in our communities. It's really made um, us think an awful lot about how life can change in the blink of an eye. You know, there's that song, you know, live like you're, it's your last day or live like you're dying. And I think sometimes we forget that. You know, we think we make plans, we make all these great ideas and goals and that's wonderful. But in the end, life can change so quickly so it's what you do today that really can make a difference in your life and in our community. And I think that, that I hope, is part of the lesson that we've learned. You know, recently I've been, I've been honestly um, upset an awful lot at the, um, the messages and things that I've seen on Facebook. And, and I've heard people that I respect and colleagues talk about in terms of the election and in terms of, you know, why are we paying for that person? And why are we doing this? And we need to stop, you know, these handouts, and we have to stop these subsidies, and we have to stop all this stuff, and we have to, you know, turn our attention to, you know, to money and the economy and, and power and that sort of thing. And it's, it's in a lot of ways been kind of negative. And I think, once again, we need to do the same thing we did back then and think for a minute. It's really about the people. I heard a story last night um, about the number I had was 36 families who are living, homeless families who are living in a hotel in Somerset. And how a group of people from one of the local churches or a couple of local churches bought pizza and soda so that the families and especially the kids could have a hot meal and some decent food and a little bit of fun for a change. And, and the families were from places like Boston and Cambridge. They weren't from around here. In some cases, they had no idea where they were. They were put on a bus, they were brought to Somerset, and they and they're staying there for I don't know how long or why, 
I don't know a lot of the information, so I, you know, take this with a grain of salt because this is really, you know, I heard it from a friend kind of thing. But I know in Dartmouth there are people living in hotels. I know in our communities there are people living in hotels who are homeless. It is not their fault. And, and to put the troubles of this country on people who are struggling, I don't think is really fair. And, and one of the things that I hope we can do today through all the good work in this, of the people in these rooms, through all the great work that our students have done, is make just a little bit of a difference. Because in the end, you have to make that difference. The government's not going to do it, whatever party you vote for. The, the communities aren't going to do it. If you don't go out of your way to help someone, it's not going to happen. And if there's anything we learned from 9-11, if there's anything we learned from the rhetoric today, is, is that we can make a difference. And I, and I just hope that you take that message forward as we uh, go about our work today. So thank you. Okay, thank you everyone for attending and thank you to all of our speakers. Um, I hope that each of you are able to connect with one, at least one organization today and to be able to get more involved while you're here as a student. We have a lot of different brochures and different programs offered through civic engagement that are located over at the table. Um, and you can also become a fan of ours on Facebook. We have a lot of information that we're promoting out there. So thank you.